Have you been asked to use Microsoft Excel to calculate the future value of an annuity and you're not sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and in this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do so. But first, I want to say something wonderful is about to happen for you and be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. In this problem, we're going to look at how to calculate the future value of an annuity. An annuity is where payments are made on a regular basis, and in this case it's a regular annuity. The same payment is made each month, and it earns interest over time, and we want to know what the value is down the road. So this says, what is the future value of an annuity in which $450 per month is paid into for 30 years and it earns 8% interest. I'm going to show you how in Microsoft Excel to calculate that. First we've got the information laid out here. The payment is $450 per month. We have 12 months in a year so there's going to be 12 payments per year. It could be quarterly, you know, four times a year. This where payments are 12 per year, the rate is a constant 8%, and the number of years is 30. So we want to know how much this is going to be worth in 30 years with the payments that are invested in it and the interest that each of those payments is earning over time. And we're going to use the future value calculation and formula that is provided within Microsoft Excel to do this calculation. So here I've written future value and I want the answer to go here in this cell that I've clicked on which is E11. Thank you for the thumbs up. That's really appreciated. It really helps out the channel and I'm trying to do the best to give you information that you can use in your classes. So I'm going to put the equal sign that tells Excel that I'm about to enter a formula and I could go FV for future value and now I'm going to put a parentheses and it tells me that the returns this returns the value, future value of an investment based on periodic constant payments at a constant interest rate interest rate and that's what we have we have constant payments of $450 the interest rate is constantly 8% there's no change in interest or in payments so this is the exact formula we want i put the parentheses in and it tells us the first thing we need to enter is the rate I could type the amounts in here, but I want to make this an interactive and um, spreadsheet that I can update amounts. So I'm going to use cell references instead of actually calculating or instead of actually entering the amounts. So our rate is 8%. So I reference the cell that that 8% is in, but that would be an annual rate. Here we need to use a rate that is per month because we have monthly payments so we're going to count that at monthly so I take that cell reference and I divide it by 12 comma the next thing we need to put in the number of payments we know there's 30 years so I'm going to reference 30 the 30 year one which is D8 and I need to mul multiply that by 12 so I do multiply by 12 because there's 12 payments per year comma and then the amount of the payment I'm going to reference the cell that has the payment in there comma and then the next cell or the next data entry point would be the present value well for this one there's no indication that there's any start money so if our account maybe had hundred dollars in it and then we're adding to it then we would put that in as the present value that's the amount in the account today there's nothing in this problem that tells us there's anything in there so I'm going to put a zero and the last one is the type uh, if it's going to be payments made at the end of the period which is the more common then that would be a zero you can leave it off or put a zero in here or if the payments are made at the beginning of the period you would put a one if your problem is silent as to it, it's likely it's going to want the period that has the payments at the end of the period. So I put a zero there and I close the parentheses to close out the formula. And before I do anything else, I want to notice also that the uh, payment, I need to make that negative because that is 
we're, the payment's going out. It's going out, so I'm going to put a negative in there. And all I need to do then is hit the equal sign, and you'll see we've got all these hash marks. What does that mean? Well, that just simply means that our column is to narrow. So I just go up here and widen the column, and you will see the answer, $670,000, 670661 and 75 cents. That is the amount that the future value of this stream of payments would be. I can also change these amounts. Let's say I decide to put in $500 a month and see what that works out to be. If I put in $500 a month, a month, well, it jumps up to $745,000. And let's say we have a better interest rate during the period. Let's say instead of 8%, we have 10%. Let me raise that. And again, it makes the amount so high that it, our column's not wide enough. I widen the column some more and look at we have over a million dollars. So this is a nice little feature. You can change the amounts of your interest or your payments or the number of years. And since you use cell references, it will just recalculate everything for you. It's a convenient way to maybe calculate money that you might want for retirement or just for you know, your class or if you're figuring out the value of a particular investment. So uh, thank you again for the thumbs up. If you're finding value in this and you would like to get some members only videos or have access to be able to send me questions directly, consider joining the membership program. You just hit the join button down below and uh, there's different membership levels. Select the one that's appropriate for you. And then for the rest of you, that's all I have today. You can please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.